As the last of the state's open ski resorts wrapped up their winter runs, workers reflected on the season's ups and downs. NBC Montana's Brianna Carroll shows us two ski areas to, who took different approaches to managing this year's low snow. Big Sky is wrapping up its longest season ever at 159 days. But as snowfall dipped approximately 60 inches below average, it wasn't without its challenges. Earlier in the season, before Mother Nature really started cooperating, it was a little slower here, but in about mid-January, as soon as the weather started to turn, we really saw our visitation start to uh, pick up a little bit. As their 50th anniversary season draws to a close, Masuda says there are a lot of people to thank for making it a success. And right at the top of that list is the resort's snowmaking team. Our snowmaking team and our mountain ops team has been incredible in, uh, you know, making some lemonade out of lemons in a lower snow year. Big Sky's state-of-the-art snowmaking technology allowed them to build a base depth that's holding on through the end of April, keeping skiers on the slopes longer. And infrastructure improvements, including the opening of the new Lone Peak Tram, helped increase overall visitation by bringing non-skiers up to the mountain, too. So we saw more scenic riders this year, which was really great. Three hours away in Nyhart, Showdown Montana experienced a similar slow start to the winter season. Relying only on natural snow, they had to push back their opening date, resulting in a shorter season than expected. That definitely hurt, you know, not being able to open that whole month of, well, pretty much the whole month of December. Without snowmaking, Showdown took a different approach to keeping their trails covered, all thanks to their mountain operations team, which played a key role in making the season a success. We had a great crew moving snow out of trees onto heavy traffic areas on our slopes. Um, you know, the snow cats did a lot of snow management. Despite lower visitation and a late start to the season, when the snow did fall, Showdown saw skiers come out in droves, recording one of their busiest days on record in January. Still, the challenges posed by this winter have the team discussing whether snowmaking operations have a place in their future. We definitely talked about and looked at adding um, snowmaking operations after this winter. It's quite a big investment and quite a long process, but after this season, it's definitely something that we're looking at. Ultimately, Patrick says keeping skiing affordable is Showdown's main goal and something that will take precedent in the team's final decision on snowmaking. With warmer temperatures, both ski areas are already making preparations to kick off their summer programming, which will take them through to when the snow starts falling again next season. Reporting in Bozeman, Brianna Carroll, NBC Montana.